hey daisies welcome back to my channel so today we are going to be cleaning and transforming my master bathroom so you guys saw in my previous shot with me video i was looking for some black decor black gold mirrored so this video is going to tie everything together and i'm going to go step by step as to how i'm transforming and changing it and this will be phase one of my bathroom renovations so i hope you guys enjoy the remainder of the video this one right here and of course these are my favorite don't listen to them just follow the light you're almost there just open your i had to stock up on some allergy medicine so i'm gonna put this in our little medicine bin had to get us some nasal spray So here's an overview of what my bathroom looks like before I start painting it. I'm really happy to transform it. Um, I have my tri mirrors and everything over here. My cabinets, which are already dark, are going to stay this color. Um, thankfully, my casing is already white and black in my shower. I'm also going to replace my pill and stick backsplash, which you guys saw me do um, in a video previously. But um, let's get started painting.
All right guys, so I'm gonna finish edging off the top part up here along the ceiling. Um, this wall, this wall right here, let me pull this down. So this is edged off, that's edged. I need to do this middle section right here. And once I get through edging that part off, I'll come back and show you what it looks like. I don't know if I'm gonna fill in the spaces. For me, it's easier when I paint like um, solid walls. Like say this, all the walls were like solid with all the without all the nicks and crannies. Whenever it's a lot of nicks and crannies, it takes me a little bit longer to paint. Um, so I don't know if I'm gonna fill that in today. But I'm also gonna go ahead on and do my little black accent wall where the purple area is right here. So this wall right here is going to be black. It's already purple, so I'm just gonna put black on top of it and this is gonna serve as my accent wall over the tub. As for this wall right here, I am still debating what I wanna do to it. I'm not sure if I wanna um, paint it, put wallpaper on it, do some type of wood feature wall, or leave it gray and just accent it with, you know, like black and white, not sure yet. Um, but you know, it's a process, but what I do know is all of the bathroom parts that's gonna be white, I'm gonna go ahead on and take care of that because I know it's gonna be white. All right guys, so for the most part, the white is painted, the parts that's gonna be white. I've also done over here um, by the window, that's white. It's the light from the outside that you can't really see it. That's great. But anyway, um, I also did this trimming here in the same color white and um, because it was that beige color right there. On the peel and stick backsplash video that I did for the bathroom a few years ago, people have asked how has this held up. It has held up great. It has not come a loose or apart at all. And um, it's worked fine for me and I think that's the route I'm gonna take again just with maybe a black and white. Not sure if I wanna use peel and stick or maybe if I'm going to get real towel because again, it'll just be along this little edge right here. But, I don't take a bath in here every day. So, um, it's limited use because people are saying like, have asked like, how did it hold up with the water? The only thing that I can speak for and say is that it's held up for me. Like I said, I'm mainly a shower person. So, I'm usually taking a shower as opposed to a bath. And I do sit in the bathtub maybe once a week or once every two weeks. Not that often, honestly. So um, it hasn't had a lot of water. But I'm about to go ahead on and take it up. So I started breaking it off here. And um, it's pretty easy whoa, to come off just like that. So as you can see, the only thing that it's doing is in certain spots is taking off um, the paint on the wall. So if I put something over this, I may have to smooth it out, but if I go with another pill and stick, it'll be fine. So I'm just gonna pull it off, just like that. Super easy. And I did this about, I wanna say 2017. So it's maybe been about three, four years I've had this on the wall. So I'm just gonna go around and take it off because the purple is out. So currently I'm deciding if I want to do um, the trim around the door in white, the same way I did that trim right there in white, or if I want to do the trim around the door in black with a black door or white trim with the black door. Either way, the door is gonna be black. But um, 
really really love the look of the white oh my gosh I still have to get over here in this corner um, with the paintbrush because the edger doesn't get like right in the crack but for the most part we are getting there the vision is coming to life guys the vision is coming to life so um, I'm gonna go ahead on and do my trim right here this is trim right here is gonna be white and right there it's gonna be white but this right here I have to decide which one which pattern I want to go with Thanks so much for watching part one of my bathroom transformation. You guys know that I do love to take my time when I'm working on projects, especially within my home. So it won't be a quick turnaround, but I promise that I am going to love it and so will you once I am done. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I will definitely see you in the next one. Bye Daisies.